we're working on a brand new project. This is one of our most favorite sitting areas. It overlooks the entire garden. And every year we always do a hanging basket on the wall back there on one of those hooks. And I always feel like there's some emptiness. So then I always end up going and creating a container on this corner and then a container over on this corner. So we're doing something new for this wall. And it's something very creative, but something very simple. Um, we're very known for, you know, doing window boxes. And that's kind of what we're gonna do here, but we're gonna do it just a little bit differently. And I'll share and show everything that we do along the way. The other day we had Forrest here and he built us these boxes. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and paint these the same color as our exterior. What I wanna do with these is create our own living plant wall on that back wall. So that way we have different heights, different trailers. So we're gonna kinda of stagger them really cool. So it's not just, you know, one big window box on the wall. So first I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little coat of paint and then uh, we'll be able to get them up on the wall and design it and place them however we want. There's a total of seven boxes and they are 16 inches long, 12 inches high, and 10 inches wide. The reason why we're gonna paint them the color of our exterior is so that way they just blend on that wall I don't want any attention on the boxes. I want all the attention on the texture and flowering varieties that are going to be in the boxes. So I really just want it to look like these plants are floating out of nowhere. So if these boxes blend, we'll definitely be able to get that effect that I'm envisioning in my head. I've got the first coat on, the first three boxes. I'm working on the insides. We'll have to use a brush to get those little corners there. And then once that's all dry, then we flip them over and paint the bottom as well. Well, I've got them all painted. The next step is to just let them dry and then we'll go ahead and drill some drainage holes. I should have drilled the drainage holes right away so that way I could have painted around the hole because I don't want to see any of the natural wood popping through even those holes because they'll be sitting just a little bit higher than we will when we're sitting on that couch outside. Jason's gonna get the uh, basket hook down and then we're going to hang the boxes. Step one. So here, I'm gonna use three and a half inch screws. That way it's got plenty of, uh, it's gonna go all the way into the two by four there because there's going to be a little bit of weight in here with the dirt and water and whatnot. So. so with our siding, we can see nails here. Anywhere where there's nails, there's a 2x4 behind there. So you got nails here, and then 16 inches over, you've got nails here. So that's why we built these the size that we did, so we could fasten all them into the studs. So I'm actually going to use four screws for each box. So I've got one, two, and then, just to be safe, I'll go three and four, and we should be good.
Another job in the books. Woo! Well, it's been a long day, but it has been well worth it, as you can see. I hope you guys like this idea. Maybe you can use it in your garden or by your sitting area, wherever. But we will do an upcoming video of a, a wall tour of everything that's in these boxes. Today, we just wanted to share the idea of how to and just something new. So thank you so much for watching. And if you don't already subscribe, feel free to click that subscribe button and do not forget to hit that bell.